building has is basically uh, part of a two street building so one um, front is on one street the other front is on the other side on the other street uh, normally speaking for a building like this we would need probably about eight cameras to get good coverage at this point for um, budgetary reasons we chose to go with just four uh, with the owner of the building so we put in a couple cameras on this end one to show this area here of the gates and the entrance to the driveway uh, the other right there to show this walkway so anybody that comes from this gate is being caught by this camera here from this pedestrian gate and then as they walk this corridor they will get caught by this camera here which will show where they're going at the same time anybody coming from that and from that side street coming up the stairs will be caught by this camera as well now all these cameras were done really nicely and neatly they sit on a on a little box that basically uh, contain all the uh, connections and the wiring inside the box after that they ran in conduits now we used bigger conduits here because we suspect that uh, they would like after uh, after using the system for a little bit to expand for more cameras to get better coverage so as you can see these conduits go nice and clean and neat and run all the way into this uh, laundry room which is a common area for the building there's a couple more cameras showing the other side of the street which is this side the other side of the building I'm sorry which is this side and again nice and neat conduit work and you see one is looking towards the building a second one is looking towards the gates to see who's coming who's going and to give a little bit of uh, control here for the owner in case some stuff goes uh, wrong in terms of the you know they invested a lot of money putting new operators new gates and they want to make sure that nobody is uh, nobody is uh, basically vandalizing or causing any issues here in the building uh, they wanted the tenants to have a peace of mind as well as themselves so here's again our conduits running all the way nice and clean and into that laundry room and now let's go in there and I'll show you what's going on in there so I'm now inside the laundry room as you can see uh, we do this in a lot of buildings where we don't have uh, a designated room to put the system in and it needs to be in a common area we build a cage for that uh, unit for the monitor for the DVR for the power supply and everything is being uh, tucked in neatly inside a cage like this which is locked so you can see it has the monitor here that shows the pictures of all these cameras very nice beautiful HD clear camera I want to show you how everything is nicely uh, installed inside first of all look how nice and clear this picture is you can see people walking you can see the cars in the parking lot um, gives you a really nice clear picture so in case something happens uh, you can always retrieve the events put them on a little USB stick and uh, you know get some evidence if you need them to you know for police or for insurance purposes so it's a very good tool um, for either residential um, or commercial applications um, everything all the wiring and everything is, is inside neatly uh, installed neatly run towards the power supply as well as towards the back of the DVR and the monitor itself and here now you can see how this lady is walking she's going from one image from one camera to the other camera and and eventually walking on the side here and we will catch her in a second in the top camera here coming down or across the and then over there in the car so you see how even with just only four cameras we were able to pretty much get one person walking from one end of the building all the way to the other end of the building and that uh, that is a big big help and that's it. Run for more on security in Torrance, California.